modernise the grid, integrate renewables and boost flexibility. It's the goal of the utility national grid in the US with its new project with UK company Kraken Tech. The utility is set to implement Kraken's AI-powered platform to enhance operational efficiency for 6.5 million customers in Massachusetts and New York. It was a busy week for electric utilities as the National Grid News came around the same time. Polish utility Enea announced it secured $2.4 billion in funding to upgrade its distribution network with smart grid tech. Guess they saw what happened in Spain and they were like, let's modernize. I don't want to make that same mistake. This week has been another hit for water. Who's shocked? I'm not. We've seen Camstrop has agreed to acquire Danish company BD Smart Forcening from Broder and Adal. The deal is set to boost Camstrop's software capabilities, particularly in communication and software development, to improve water supply efficiency. We've also seen the city of Amis in Spain kicking off the Amis Digital Water Project, created to digitally modernize the urban water cycle with a budget of 1.3 million euros. And El Campello, also in Spain, is looking to improve its water supply efficiency through a new sensor-based monitoring system. The project involves dividing the distribution network into smaller hydraulic sectors, each equipped with flow meters to track consumption and detect leaks. I'd say water is the most popular vertical lately. Wow, it always has to be about her. The city of Boston is expanding Google Research's Project Greenlight to 114 into sections. The initiative optimizes light timing thanks to a system that analyzes traffic patterns with Google Maps data and AI. By synchronizing intersections, the project is set to improve traffic flow and curb stop and go emissions. And we've seen other similar news this week. The city of Pearland has deployed an AI-powered mobility platform by no traffic at 12 intersections to enhance traffic flow and road safety. Green light, people! Green light! And in tenders, the UK's Isle of Wight is looking for a supplier to install and operate an EV charging network across the island. The project, which will involve the deployment of local, primarily low-powered, on-street charging infrastructure will have a budget of almost 50 million euros. And Haute Loire in France has published a tender for the supply and installation of AI-enabled cameras on departmental roads for traffic data collection. You'll find more info on current.com.